And word of those layoffs at the police department comes on the heels of a double shooting in the Elm City. Now, two men were shot inside a Dunkin' Donuts on Derby Avenue last night. News 8's Ted Coffey on the scene in New Haven with reaction from neighbors. Out here in the West River neighborhood of New Haven where a double shooting happened at this Dunkin' Donuts just last night, there's a growing sense that things are getting worse. The shattered door where bullets tore through this Dunkin' Donuts on Derby Ave has been repaired, but the shattered nerves around here have not. Gary Cox was inside last evening when he heard what sounded like an AK-47. I was having something come flying by here and, and it took a five-round shot at the bed front door behind you. And everybody went flying on the floor over real fast. He says two young males were hit, okay. one in the foot, the other in the head, and that the second victim appeared to be in very critical condition. Just two months ago, a man was shot and killed at this same spot. And since then, things obviously aren't getting any better. After, after uh, 4 o'clock, I'm in my house. I don't come out at night, no, no, unless I'm getting into the car, going right out like that. But just to come out to walk, I never do that. It's too dangerous. People repeatedly told us today, instead of laying off 16 police officers, the city needs to hire 16 more. This is too much. Our nerves are bad. You know, you got to worry about the kids asking you questions. You got to look over your shoulder when you go to the store. This is ridiculous. I, I don't want to live here no more. We shouldn't be living like this. We should feel comfortable. Detectives have been out here in the neighborhood all day, but so far New Haven police will only say that last night's double shooting is still under investigation. We're on the scene in New Haven. Ted Coppy, News 8.